guys, I'm back. Oh, look, it's only been two hours, but I want to use this area. I've made up some new paints, so I want to do another pour, so I'm just going to get on with this. Now, I've got my glove. Before I blew it up, I tied all the fingers and the thumbs together in a knot, so I can just use this flat area here. All right. I did that one like an hour ago just to see what would happen and it's still all falling in. Well, it was then. So um, as I said, I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to go over this one again. Push down slowly back to the middle and then slowly lift up. And then clean off. So it's made like this. Um, it's like a little mound. It should settle. But I think I'll go over it again. If you're getting a big mound like that, you can go over it, say, three times. I wouldn't probably go any more than that. Um, otherwise, you might start balding your canvas. You might go right down to the canvas. I'm going to try and incorporate that little black cell there if I can. So which means I have to push down really quite hard so that I can incorporate that little black one. Did I get him? I did. So there we go and then wipe off again have a few of these paper towel strips ready to go now where else uh, I thought I'd do some big ones and then I'll have a go with my little water balloon into some maybe some of those areas there where I've got smaller cells but for now I'm just going to do the big one first in the areas that I really don't like so I don't like that cell there and that cell there so I'm going to go in the middle of those cells I won't push too hard because the edges are starting to dry already. So just a little push. You can always go back again and do a bigger push. And that's a lot of paint in there, look at that. I could actually scoop that off with a spoon. So there's a lot there. This technique, when it dries, it'll have a little dip around here. So if you're gonna do this, you really need to put some kind of varnish on afterwards to fill in your little gaps. I'm gonna go again here. And try and get a little bit more paint off and one more time okay that will do <clears throat> right so that's that side done now this big blobby bit there he has to go so let's go right in the middle there and incorporate all those lobby bit same and voila they are gone skis push again just to get some more paint off because there's quite a lot there if you wanted to you could dip that somewhere else I'm not terribly fussed with it I'm just going to dip on just onto my paper towel here just to clean it I'm, I'm not fussed about going onto another canvas or something but you could or maybe onto a card now the other area this one here don't like him um, but I kind of want to incorporate this dark bit here see that long one that blobby bit there so I'm going to kind of go in the middle of those ones Let's see if I can get rid of both of those at the same time I did it Look at that gold that's come up. At the moment, it still looks quite yellow, but once it's dried, it's going to look really, really pretty. Let's go again. Okay, I think I'm... Oh, can we use that one more time? Um, all right, so we've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to have to go over that one again. It's going a little bit... Kind of a bit wobbly. A little bit too much paint there again. Now this is quite yellow here, so I'm just going to go over that in the middle there and hopefully get some uh, silver coming through under that because that's, oh, there we go, that's pretty, got some black. It was just too, too yellow for me. And let's go again. And getting a little bit more black through it then. One more time. That's better. Uh, if you wanted to, like over here, it's quite silver. If you wanted to, you could dip into that and pick up your gold and then go straight over there and dip into your silver. I'm just going to see if I can incorporate these cells on the outside here just because there's nothing 
on that side. So I'm just going to push a little bit harder. And that's just picked up those few cells there on the edge. Um, do I want to do another big one? Now this, this paint's all fallen back in again and got some cells. So I'm going to see... Mm, maybe I won't. I'll leave it for now. Let's put him aside. And let's just have a look. I don't know if the little water balloon will do much. Uh, where will we go? So you kind of need to pick an area that's got a lot of cells and it need to go right in the middle. That way it pulls all those cells together to make petals. Um, I don't really like this area up here. I might do smaller ones in here, but this, this is too small. It's really only got a small surface area. Um, oh, those are really pretty. I don't want to ruin those. Maybe I'll, how about we go into these two blobby bits here, see if that will do anything, hey? Oh, yeah, that's worked. Look at that. That's much better, isn't it, than those two blobby things that I had. Still a little bit too much paint, though, so let's go again. Looking good. Now this one, the paint still keeps running. So I'm gonna actually dip that one again because I've waited a little while. While I've done something else, the paint's kind of come back again. So we'll just go back into that one again. And you can do that. You can wait for the paint to run back down and then do it again. That's quite fine. Just keep going until you're happy. Okay. Well, I like that little one there. I don't like torching the flowers after I've, I've dipped uh, because they get cells up and there's cells everywhere else. So I like my little flowers or fireflies or whatever you want to call them to not have cells. They are getting natural cells in them, but I'm not going to torch to get any more. As I said, I'm going to leave that. That's gorgeous. Um, how about in the middle here? Because that's not very attractive in the middle, quite right there in the middle. Let's go a few times and remove some of that paint. You can see, see how thick it is? So ideally you would leave it maybe four or five hours or even longer. You know, if you pour in the morning, go back in the evening before you go to bed and dip then because it still is quite thick there. Um, let's have a look. No, I don't want to use that one. I was going to use the balloon, but I just do prefer the, the squishy glove. I just feel as if I need a little balloon over here, but bigger than that. So just a little push. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of paint. I wonder what would happen if I actually scooped some of that paint out. I need a teaspoon. Oh look, oh look, a teaspoon. Now this is just experimenting here, eh? We actually scoop some of that middle out. I don't know if this will work or not, but let's just have a look and see what happens. Because it's the outside it's going to create our petals not really the middle so we've still got a big big blob there again a lot of paint there let's actually just scoop that out hey And then go again. As you lift your balloon up, the paint's going to rush back because it gets suctioned. So it's going to fill in that little gap that I made taking the paint away with the spoon. So all good there. So you wouldn't know that I've done it. Hey, we've just got a little bit of less paint there. Now I've got quite a lot of gold on that. I'm going to put it over here and just 
give that area a little bit more gold. Paint's just falling in quite a lot. You can see how thick it is still. So I'm just going to go over each one again. Just to try and thin that paint out. Okay, that's looking good, isn't it? Um, now, yes, I'm going to do you as well. And just a little one in there. Take it around so I don't drip. I don't want to drop him in there, would I? Okay, so there's one there, one there. I'm just going to do one more little one up here. And then that will be it. I'm going to leave it at that. Once it dries, if I've got these little indentations, <coughs> excuse me, then that is a good time to, to varnish. All right, I'm going to take you down for a close up. And then that will be it. So happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. Do you like it? <laughs> so that's an intentional flip and dip. You know, sometimes if you're not happy with your pour, you can you can dip for sure. But if you're doing an intentional dip, try to get your cells a little bit smaller. And it just means that you'll get more petals. I mean, I know I haven't dipped into that corner because it's just so pretty. I don't want to disrupt it. Uh, I will show you this once it's dried because the metallics will just be awesome. Got some really amazing cells there. And I've got some really amazing little fireflies that have popped up. I may even come back to this uh, in a few hours and just go over it again with the balloon, it just into the same spot. We'll see. Let me just see what it looks like with my light turned off. Let's see if that's any better. I don't know if we can actually pick up the, the shimmer shimmer. I think that looks better anyway. It's a, a more true of a gold, isn't it? One little quick go over with the light off. Not as glary with the light off, is it? I mean, I've still got my overhead lights on, but I've turned my spotlight off. I think the spotlight's more useful if I'm pouring in the evening or on a really overcast, dark day. But uh, for today, I don't really need it, I guess. All right, that's enough. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, have a little go. Make your mix a little bit thicker. Get your cells a little bit smaller. And, uh, yeah, you should get some really pretty little fireflies happening. Okay. Right, have a go. Show me what you get up to. I'd love to see them. And um, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.